real-time classroom notifications for dismissal that are COVID safe. Here in our classroom at the end of the day, a spreadsheet is on the main screen. It will show student names when they are cleared to leave because a guardian has arrived to pick them up. So we're Elmo and we are waiting for our guardian to come pick us up. Elmo's ride is here. They show a barcode to the person assigned to dismissal duty who then scans the barcode in. And here on the spreadsheet in real time, here's Elmo's name. Elmo can now be dismissed. We'll need the following to build this system. Google Drive, along with a medium level of spreadsheet skill to build the system. Daily use is easy as we've just demonstrated. And lastly, using the Scan to Web app for barcode scanning. We need to create our list of barcodes first for our students. We'll create a new Google Sheet. Make it a little bigger, to, easier to see. Student barcodes. And this will be classroom first name, last name. Barcode, and let's uh, let's make that look nice. All right, let's go get our list of names. All right, we copied over our student list, a simple student list with a couple classrooms and a couple sample names. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to place the barcode formula from the video description and the step-by-step -step instructions. So you'll just want to copy and paste this. And we'll paste this formula right in here. And the formula is somewhat complicated, but in a basic format, it is, is saying is if the cells are blank, just show the word blank. Otherwise, create an image, and the image should use this formula, which creates our barcode, which is a combination of the classroom, first name, and last name. What we want to do next is grab the handle right here and drag that formula down. Now we have barcodes for each of our students. Right now this isn't quite useful, so we need to make this a little bit bigger. So we're going to drag this barcode column wider. Uh, we're going to center it. And then lastly, we'll click the all cells here and create its height. And now we have our student barcode sheet that we can print out or share with people. To share a barcode is actually pretty simple too. We can go to File, New, and Document. And let's just say that what we're going to do is copy and send this barcode to somebody. So we're just going to right click it and then go to Copy. And then we're just going to paste it. And this will actually paste the image of the barcode, not the formula. So now we have a document that we can print or share with the uh, student or the parents to allow them to sh show the barcode when needed. Now that we've created our student barcodes, what we want to do now is create the Google Form to record those barcode scans. So we're going to go to New. You may have to click on More, but then you'll find the Google Forms choice. And we'll create a new Google Form. Give the name. For attendance. For student. Down to untitled the first question here, we're going to make it a short answer. I'll just call it an all caps barcode. So we make it nice and simple. We can get creative with the colors here too. Well, whatever, maybe you have a decent choice of school colors. Let's see what we got. Neat. So once we have our barcode, our barcode form, 
we need to set up a place for it to go. So we're going to go to Responses. And we're going to click on the Google Sheets, Create Spreadsheet. We want to accept responses into a Google Sheet. So we'll create a new Google Sheet here. And uh, the name is just fine as is. You can just hit Create. And now we have a spreadsheet that's waiting for barcode scans. We'll go back to the Google Form, and we're going to share it and put it in the app. So we're going to click on Send, and we're going to not choose Email. We're going to choose the Link button, and we'll get a link to that form that we can share. We're going to copy it to our clipboard. Next, we'll go to the barcode generator at barrywing.com slash barcode. We'll paste it right in there, and we'll create a QR code. Using the Scan to Web app, tap the gear button, tap the QR button up in the upper right, and scan in the URL. Tap the Home button to load. Let's scan a few barcodes in the test. We just scanned one in, and there it is. This section is going to be a little more complicated, but it ultimately makes the system a lot more usable and user-friendly. So here we have our students that have been scanned in. However, if you have a list of like 100, 400, 500 students, this one single list gets pretty ungainly. So what we're going to do is we're going to create tabs for each classroom. So the first thing we need to do is we need to highlight the barcode column by clicking the column header and selecting the whole thing. We're then going to select on data and then go down to named ranges. And we're going to give this a range, this range a name of scanned in. Now what this is doing is it's basically giving column B a name scanned in that we can reference in other sheets. So the next step actually is to create a tab for each classroom. So we're going to just rename this one out of four. Rename 716 and rename 202. There we go. We have our three classrooms. Now, you can uh, always give it a title. Uh, classroom 904, the, ho oops, the Hawks. I went to uh, elementary school and we called ourselves the Hawks. So, that's yeah, a little, little trivia. So, what we're going to do now is we are going to place a formula here to select the rows from that select that named range earlier. So we're just going to put this formula from the description right in here and it does everything automatically. Now if you'll notice there is a little edit you need to make which is you need to specify the uh, classroom number here. So if we take the same formula, so I'm going to explain our formula here. Basically we are filtering the uh, named range scanned in from that other tab and we're going to select the first three characters of that name range, in this case, the uh, classroom number, and we're going to see if it equals 904. And if it does, we're going to show this value based on this whole filter operation. Copy it, go over to the other classroom, paste it, and you can paste it in any cell. We'll need to actually change this over here to that classroom, so 716. There we go. And in 202, we'll do the same thing. 202. There we go. We have our we have from our master list of the eight students that have been scanned in, three from classroom 904, three from 716, and two from 202. Because we've split that out here in each classroom tab, you can just have that classroom tab open and see those students very easily and simply. Thank you for watching our video. We hope you found it helpful. Please email us or contact us for more information. And please give the Scan to Web app a try.